Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. We have two big topics to discuss today. One is the fact that Harry just attacked the Queen and Philip and his father, the same man who's claiming they're not reaching out to him. I think we understand why now. And we're also going to be discussing the fact that another woke joke celebrity has stepped up to the plate to defend Harry and his wife in the Oprah show. A lot to cover. This is definitely one of my longer videos. So let's go. Harry went on a podcast to push his mental health agenda, you know, because he's got that show coming out on Apple with Oprah, you know, the same one they plugged during the Oprah show. And these are some of the things he had to say. So let's break this down as he's talking. Here we go. Prince Harry has launched an extraordinary attack on senior members of the royal family, including the Queen, during a Hollywood podcast. Harry blasted Prince Charles's parenting skills and suggested that his father had suffered at the hands of his own parents, the Queen and Prince Philip. And then suddenly I started to piece it all together and go, I know this bit about his life. I also know that's connected to his parents. Yeah. So that means that he's treated me the way that he was treated. Exactly. Which means how can I change that for my own kids? And well, here I am. So for those who, who aren't quite sure what you just heard, he essentially said that his father abused him and his father was abused by the Queen and Philip. Moving on. Let's go live now to 7 News Bureau Chief Ashley Mullaney in Los Angeles. And Ashley had a lot to say on this podcast, didn't he? He sure did, Eddie. Prince Harry covered a lot of ground, but one thing that was abundantly clear was just how unhappy he was on this path as a working royal, and he was clearly uh, battling some demons. He likened his life uh, as a working royal as being in the Truman Show or being in the zoo, and he said that it was his wife, Meghan, who encouraged him to seek therapy, saying that it was his Achilles heel to feel so helpless. So he had years and years and years of therapy while he was in the UK, but he's claiming that it was his wife who got him to go to therapy. And again, they're pushing the mental health, pushing the mental health. And don't forget, this is the same wife that when she supposedly told him that she was suicidal, he did nothing for her because he was too ashamed. Even though her mother is a mental health counselor and she had a team of doctors that they vetted themselves while she was pregnant. I should also say that to fit his current narrative, Harry is also backtracking on what he said earlier to a reporter that um, it was his brother that suggested he go get therapy and that he, his brother, and Kate were happy to be using their status for good. Moving on to the next. In my early 20s, I was a case of, like, I just, I don't want this job. Yeah. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be doing this. Look what he did to my mum. How am I ever going to you know, settle down and have a wife and a family when I know that it's going to happen again? Yeah. Because I know, I've seen behind the curtain. I've seen the business model. I know how this operation runs and how it works. Yeah. I don't want to be part of this. He also wanted out of the royal family in his early 20s, which is something he could have done. But let's face it, he wants all the trappings of royalty. He just didn't want to do any of the responsibilities. And of course, he referenced his mother again. Moving on. You were parented in such a specific way, not just by your dad, but by the whole family. And it's so specific that I wonder, and like you said, like you were told, oh, you're just, something's wrong with you. You're crazy. I wonder, are you trying to parent in the opposite direction? He actually said that he was told he was crazy. I don't believe that at all. Moving on. Parenting. If I've experienced some form of pain or suffering because of the pain or suffering that perhaps my father or my parents had suffered, I'm going to make sure that I break that cycle so that I don't pass it on, basically. There's a lot of genetic pain and suffering that gets passed on anyway. Yeah, and the we, as parents, we should be doing the most of what we can to try and say, you know what, that happened to me, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen to you. Yeah. It's hard to do because some of it's so just It's really hard to do, but for me it comes down to awareness. Like yeah. I never I never saw it, I never knew about it, and then suddenly I started to piece it all together and go, okay, so this is where he went to school. This is what happened. I know this bit about his life. I also know that's connected to his parents. Yeah. So that means that he's treating me the way that he was treated. Exactly. Which means how can I change that? 
for my own kids. And well, here I am. I've now moved my whole family to the US. Well, that wasn't the plan. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Exactly. But sometimes you've got to make decisions and put your family first and put your mental health first. Now, finally, as I've said before, I love Australia. I love the way their news people just put it out there. So this is the last piece I'm going to show you for this particular topic on this video. Watch this. It's Harry and Meghan. We can never get enough of those oh, two. Yes. And well, here's Prince Harry. He's in the news again. He's laid the boots into his family all over again, this time in a podcast um harry and megan continue to whine about media intrusion while sharing intimate details of their tortured lives with an increasingly fed up public harry does have mental health issues like you i do wonder how oh. many media exclusives we can, can we? go through where yeah. he talks about basically the same thing he's bust up with the royal family at some point people are going to go a little bit tired of it at some point, um, I think we reached that point about 15 months ago. He now, wants the trappings of royalty. He wants, so he wants all the trappings, all the wealth, all the adoration that comes with being a member of the royal family without any of the duty, without any of the work, without any of the scrutiny that comes with being a public figure where he can lay the boots into his family knowing full well they can't respond. You know, the Queen's not going to come back with a statement. Prince Charles isn't going to come back with a statement. Uh, I, I just think... He's just turned into a very ordinary bloke. At the end of the day, he's gone from being the most loved royal to probably being the most despised. And this is a family that includes Prince Andrew. I mean, that's some feat, Harry. You've done well there. Well, I mean, he's, you know, he's talked about the struggles of growing up with a life of privilege, something that perhaps you and I, Rita, uh, can't fully comprehend that struggle. But, um, again, there is a serious note there around mental health. And here's Harry with his abusive father. I got this picture off of Twitter. Can't you just see the hate? I think Harry's wife truly has him believing that he was an abused person. I, oh my God. I'll let you guys know right now that not everybody is buying what Harry is selling. I hope I'm saying her name right. I think it's Camilla Tomini. Anyway, Camilla very rightly so questioned the timing of Harry's comments and is confused why he and his wife left the UK to go to America just to make so much noise. She pointed out that the two of them didn't want the quote toxicity that came with their former publicity, but quite frankly, they're becoming toxic themselves at this point. She also pointed out that large periods of time of their lives was spent in private where nobody bothered them. She pointed out that lots of people have trauma in their lives, and quite frankly, Harry and his brother William had the same trauma, the divorce and the death of their mother. But look at the difference in them. One of them is holding his head up, has a beautiful wife, a beautiful family, and is doing his job, and the other one is screaming victim every time he opens his mouth. We all know that Harry's got mental health issues. I think he was easy pickings. I think Megan realized this early on that he was gonna be easy to manipulate, and that's what happened. All right, moving on to the next story. A lot of stories have come out since the Oprah show. Uh, they're stars and they're making comments in response to the, you know, what happened with Oprah. First, you had Chrissy Teigen, who, by the way, was just accused of online bullying and had to apologize for the things that she said, claiming that you guys need to stop because Harry's wife is going to have a miscarriage, completely ignoring the fact that Harry and his wife wanted to do the Oprah interview. Then Serena Williams stepped to the plate after the Oprah show and after there had been a lot of debunking and came out in, in force, oh, my friend Megan, she's got so much strength and poise, completely ignoring the fact that almost everything she said had already been proven to be a lie. The same with Beyonce, who put a message up thanking Harry's wife for her courage and leadership, even after it had been proven that she lied. The reason I'm bringing this up is because now Colin Jackson has stepped in and defended the two of them. I mean, did this guy not do his research? Because he said nobody should tell them how they should feel or try to put words into their mouths to fit their agenda. I basically think your perception is your reality. So I don't know how the two of them felt, but if that's how they felt, that's their reality, completely ignoring the fact that it's been proven that she was incorrect. He said, and I'm quoting him, so we can't really look at them and go, well, that never happened. If they tell you what happened, it happened. 
close quote. So this is the new woke way. If you think it, even if it's not true, if you say it, that's the reality. So, hey, Colin, Colin, can you hear me? I loaned you a million dollars and I want my money back. I said it. That's my reality. Give me my money. And it's all about how you feel. And that's how I feel. So it's my reality. It's true. It's all true. Get it? It's fin update time and we've started training and here's a video for you guys to enjoy. Okay. Right next to me. Right next to me. It's okay. Fin, sit. Boy, take a treat. Let's go. Let's do it again. Walk. What a good boy you are. You know, the trainer said that uh, the dog was extremely smart, and I believe it. He's already walking nicely on the leash, no more pulling, no more nothing, and he's sitting on command. There you go. I'll keep you guys updated. Guys, I have to be honest, I'm really ill about this, and I think if the royal family doesn't respond in some way, if they don't pull those titles, if they don't do something, then at this point, they deserve what they get. I mean, I don't know what else to say. They're just going to keep attacking, attacking, attacking. What, what the royal family needs to do is pull those titles and cut them away and say goodbye. And, and that's it. I mean, I, I, I'm having more and more trouble sympathizing with William and the Queen and everybody since these two are running amok and they're not doing anything to stop them. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget you can email me. You can follow me on Twitter. Don't forget about that coffee slash alcohol fund. I think I'm going to need a drink after this one. And as always, my friends, have a great day.